So <clears throat> here we are. Uh, here, you can do this when you have a question that's like yes, no, or has an option or whatever. You can't do this with a text field, but you notice that there is a stop action option for this. Okay. So if I click on this, you're going to decide <clears throat> oh. if you want to stop the survey. And if so, you're going to say no. Uh, I don't consent, and then you're going to save it. But that's only part of it because no, that doesn't really transition well for the person taking the survey. So if we come into the survey settings and scroll down to the bottom, then we have options related to survey stop actions. Okay. So first of all, the default here is to save all survey responses regardless of whether it's triggered or not, or if you just want to forget the whole record, you could do that. Okay. I'll leave it for this for now. But it then gives you the opportunity to say something a little nicer rather than nothing. So right. like thank uh, you for trying. I don't know. Yes. Okay, so now we're going to come in to, we'll just add a record here. Uh, actually, you have it as a survey, so I'm just going to create a new survey. Okay, so it opens to your informed consent. We're going to come down here. Do you consent? Well, you know what happens if you click on yes, right. but if you say no. You've selected an option to end right now, uh, and that gives them a chance to reconsider. Okay. And if they decide they want to end, they click on end, and this should it's not still, happen. Yeah. Is it because I have it automatically going to the next? Well, it is, but this should stop it anyway. Um, okay. Um, hang on. Let's just take a little closer look. I mean, I was playing a lot last night, so I, what happened is I started using REDCap right after your last string of um, tutorials, like your, I think it was like that week in June was, of course, the, I, I started using it the Friday after you guys were done with all this. Uh-huh. Okay. So stop action should stop no means end this survey but it's going to auto continue so what we want to do for this particular case rather than use um, we're going to remove the auto continue option here okay okay and we'll save those changes. And for this particular situation, we're going to use the survey queue. And, and if we go into the survey queue, you've done that too? This, I think, did I set that up correctly? Yeah, one is yes, right? And that's the answer to the uh, question for um, Wait, no, we want some, yeah, we want this so participation. Okay, I'm gonna save this a minute. And then just check here, participation. Yeah, okay. So now let's try this again. Let's go here and open this up. Come down here, say no, end survey. Thank you, okay. good luck. And that, and that will do it. Okay. So it's so it's just a rare case where you don't want to really just auto continue regardless. You right. want to put in that stop logic and you want to use the survey queue. So if you haven't used the survey queue before, um, the survey queue is 
another way, one of a few different ways of navigating and um, so opening up the survey queue. So you were on the right track and you, you did this just right. It's just that you had the two together. So right. you can determine what drives this based on any of the logic that you have here. So okay. well done on that part. So all we had to do was turn off that and turn on the stop. That was the work. one piece I was missing. Thank you so much. That was really helpful. Yeah, yeah you're welcome. <laughs>